Hello, so in this video, I'm going to continue on chapter 3 where we're going to discuss about conservation of linear momentum. Okay, so here are few objectives that we need to achieve. The first one is to state the principle of conservation of linear momentum and to differentiate elastic and inelastic collision. Okay, so let's first talk about principle conservation of linear momentum. So what does it mean? It states that the total linear momentum is zero or constant if no external force acts on a closed system. So f net equal to zero. So when f net equal to zero, rate of change of momentum is zero. This means our p initial equal to p final. So here I share two applications that involve the conservation of momentum. The first one is the motion of rockets or jet engines in which the rocket and jet engines work on the law of conservation of momentum. In this hot gases produced by the burning of fuel, it will rush out with a large momentum. So due to this, mach machine gain an equal and opposite momentum. Okay. Next one is playing snooker. So the physics behind playing snooker lie on the billiard ball, in which the collision that occur among the billiard ball will conserve the momentum. Okay, so if you ever play snooker or watch snooker championship, you will realize that there's a lot of collision occur among the billiard ball. So collision can be defined as an isolated event in which two or more bodies exert, exert relatively strong forces on each other at a short period of time. So there are two types of collision. The first one is elastic collision, where the two balls did not stick together and move in the opposite direction. Next is inelastic collision, where from the figure you can see the ball are sticking together once the collision occurs. Object that experience in elastic collision will not always happen to be sticking together. Okay, sometimes it can be moving in a separate direction. Okay, so how we can identify if the collision is elastic or inelastic? We need to see other factors, which we're going to discuss in the similarity and differences between both of the collision. Okay, so let's have a look at similarity and differences between elastic and inelastic collision. Okay, so based on the table below, you can see that for elastic collision and inelastic collision, the similarity for both collision is that the momentum must be conserved. Okay, but the difference between both collision is that kinetic energy is conserved in elastic collision. Okay where we have k initial equal to k final. However, in inelastic collision, kinetic energy is not conserved. So some of the energy had been transferred to tremor energy. So in conclusion, to know whether the collision is inelastic or elastic, we can see the kinetic energy. If the kinetic energy is conserved, it means that it is elastic. If it's not conserved, it refer to inelastic collision. So sticking together or not stick together, the object that undergo collision will not determine that the collision is elastic or inelastic. So that's all. Thank you.